Hey everyone, so we got another uh, art school today. Sorry I hadn't done anything last week. Um, just had a bad weekend and it was really busy, so didn't have time to do anything. So thought about what I was gonna do today for today's video and thought about uh, trying to draw something a little more fun. Um, something, you know, in my opinion, it's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy, and one of my favorite things to draw, and that is hands. Cool thing about drawing hands is you've always got a model present right there. <laughs> you can always just, just use your own hand as a point of reference. So I've got my coffee because let's face it, it's early. And uh, yeah, again, if you're, if you're painting, don't ever confuse your paint water with your coffee. It's not fun. So obviously, you know, um, Give this a try here. So start putting the pencil to the paper. So not sure exactly what we're gonna do here, but Hands to me are always uh, interesting to draw just because, I don't know, there's a lot of personality in, in hands. I don't know exactly why that is. It's so, yeah. Now I'm kind of drawing through. The, the fingers just to show where everything is, you know, just so I know what I'm looking at, what I'm going to be seeing, and what I'm not seeing. And different thing here. Alright, so that's going to be the basic. Uh, Outline. Oop, I almost forgot to finish this here. All right, so that's going to be our hand right there. And I'm going to do this in charcoal. This is again going to be in the uh, you know, use of shadows lesson. So. As always, sorry I don't talk a whole lot in these videos, mainly just because uh, I'm just focused. I always get very focused when I draw. And If there's anything anybody was curious about drawing, by the way, please let me know in comments. Uh, anything you know that anybody wants to know about how to draw. Um, and let me know what you think of these videos, because you know, at this point I'm just kind of doing, you know, doing what I feel like. You know, people sometimes need to learn. Um, and again, you know, 
shouldn't take anything to learn how to do this stuff. Just, you know, it's just, it really is just a matter of putting the, picking up a pencil, putting it on the paper, seeing what you come up with. some texture basically smooth it in with the color uh, so can give it a give it a consistent texture with the uh, skin tone, so to speak, and then we'll go back over it with the, the pencil, with the charcoal pencil, and fill in the additional details. So, this is just going to be the hand itself. Again with, char again, with charcoal, it's it, it's all about drawing just you know shadows and highlights. Um, same principles as drawing with a pencil, actually, or at least similar principles. There's obviously a little minor differences. Let's see, let's sharpen our charcoal pencil here a little bit, very gently. I always go really gentle with my pencil sharpeners. I don't know about you guys, but don't you hate when you're trying to sharpen a pencil and you cut and you pull away a broken nub? <laughs> Just a piece of wood. some of the shadows here. I could obviously use the uh, the actual charcoal block for this part, uh, just because of the fact that I'm doing a lot of different shadows. But you know, since I'm doing some of the smaller details, I mean, I could just as easily do this, you know, go in with this, just to get some of these bigger, darker shadows um, filled in a little. 
little bit better. It's all about, you know, your style, what you feel like works best for you. If you're more comfortable using the charcoal block here, then by all means, do that. Um, works just as well. Just a matter. You know, finding what works for you. And now, one of the things that people you notice is that one of the things I'm doing here is a little thing that a lot of people, a lot of people tend to just draw the hands as just, you know, five fingers and that's it. But there's other very little details that you can see. The veins, the bones, all these little details here all come into play you know, in the little, little shadows and stuff like that that you draw. Um, that's what really makes these these kind of drawings pop out, these little bits of uh, the anatomy. And I mean, even when it comes to like this little part here, you know, you got that little bit of uh, folded skin right there, shadows. Uh, this, this There's a little shadow right here that comes into play right there. That's where the, the bone comes in there and then it's like a little knot. <laughs> and then there's this bone right here. Uh, don't ask me to think right now what the name of these these bones are. I can't tell you. <laughs> I wasn't that good in anatomy. I learned I learned enough to learn how to draw. You know, actually knowing the names and such it's like yeah sure it, it's it's nice to know but uh definitely not a requirement um, Just a, I don't know, I don't know what it is about hands. It really is just, a, it's, there's a, it's a lot of detail, but at the same time, it's it's very simplistic. Uh, to, it's something very basic about hands. And it's one of those things I think, I think gets overlooked um, when it comes to drawing. People just seem to think that it's, people seem to think that it's so simple that they, that they don't really pay much attention to it. great way to make your characters just kind of stand out a little more your subjects because you can do so much with them you can show so many different uh, so you can so, show so much expression with hands that a lot of people don't seem to realize there really there really is a lot of expression in hands Actors will tell you that you know what you do with your hands actually can make a can change a performance. Um, This is, so this is just one of those things that you want to do once in a while, you know, it's just um, really just practice these individual parts of the anatomy, hands, eyes, you know, just, just pick something, focus on it, like do the whole, do the whole page in that, 
you know, one part of the anatomy practicing. You can always go back, you know, do some highlights. Take your rubber eraser, stretch it out a little bit, and just do a little bit. Just to get some of the highlights in there from your light source. some small details here the little the little details that you don't necessarily uh, think about these little lines in the knuckles such like that um, those are those are what make this kind of stuff really pop out really uh, noticeable One of the things I've noticed is actually that once you once you get a, a base of uh, your charcoal down, um, doing these little details actually goes on really smooth, smoother I should say, and makes getting those little details to pop out that much easier. It makes makes the drawings look look really good. That's just just a basic idea. You know, again, all it takes just putting the putting the pencil to paper and practicing. Now that's more of a masculine hand, actually. Um, with women's hands, you obviously want to make them a little softer. Uh, definitely want to make the fingers a little thinner. You know, not quite so, <laughs> not quite so masculine. Um, so, do just a basic idea here, just to give you an idea.
this pretty much same thing, same general pose, just different angle. You almost, I, I almost, I almost feel like when I draw women's hands, uh, that the that the the tips of the fingers have to come to a point, you know, just a little bit more so, more so than when drawing them. Uh, a man's hands and one of the uh, one of the easy ways to make sure that you're getting uh, that you make this hand, make the hand look a little more feminine is the wrist I don't know if you can see that but the wrist is a lot uh, it's a lot smaller This will just be really quick. I'm not going to do quite as much detail on this one uh, as I did with the last. It'll just be to give you a, a general idea of what I'm talking about, the difference between uh, drawing a woman's hands and versus drawing a man's. Also, won't put quite as much, uh, quite as much detail into, you know, specifically, uh, specifically if you're talking about drawing like a younger person's hands, uh, not quite as much detail, just because they're they're not going to be as worn. You know, that's just older hands tend to have gone through more, so they have, they're much more worn, the wrinkles, the veins are all more defined on an older person's hands. It's just, just the way life works. Again, going back to the sort of character that hands have, you know, Kind of like a, if if you remember the the movie Titanic, DiCaprio's character is always talking about how he was obsessed with hands. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of character that he's, James Cameron knew what he was talking about when he wrote that. There really is a lot of character in that. Like with that one bone here in the wrist, you don't even you don't necessarily have to do that that much. Um, the knuckles don't have to be quite as defined. You don't want to do those veins like here on the top of the wrist like that. Just you want them to look a little more uh, soft, a little more gentle, so to speak. Blending stump, fill in some of these, fill in some of the shadow, the texture. I always find it funny how you can you you start out using the uh, the pencil or the charcoal brick or something like that, and the tool that seems to do the most work is the blending stump. Just I've 
arguably does the most work. some more detail, some more shadows. Just a little bit, and like I said, a little tiny detail. A little bit on the, a little bit of detail, just a little tiny line here to emphasize the, the fingernail there. And then a little bit darker here, darken in the shadow a little bit. Bring that in. a few things, create highlights, like I said, you want it a little bit lighter over here on this side of the hand because that's where your light source is coming from. So darken that in a little too much so you just go back with the eraser, fold it up a few times, go back in. Very careful about touching the paper when you're dealing with charcoal because you can easily get messy. Um, not And not just that, but you can smudge the work you've already done. Uh, again, if you're ever doing a full-size picture in charcoal, uh, I recommend starting, if you're right-handed, start at the top left and work your way down. If you're left-handed, do the opposite. Start at the top right and work your way down. So you can see a little bit of the differences here. You know, you got your ma masculine hand over here, you got your more feminine hands over here. Um, I really do think one of the biggest telltale signs of uh, feminine hands is the wrist. You can easily you can easily see the big differences here. Uh, men's hands always tend to be, you know, pretty pretty broad in comparison to the hand itself uh, versus women's hands there. So, again, you know. Like I said, if anybody has any uh, questions, any suggestions, any ideas of what they want to see me show how to draw, please let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content coming up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it.